All right, exciting. We're doing something different today. Paint day. We're going to put a barrier coat on the boat. Everyone's just getting up, bright and early, getting into it. I'm going to start downstairs. Take you down and uh, let's see what we're going to do. We are an Australian family that set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Good morning guys, uh, thank you for tuning in. Today we'll be doing a barrier coat on the bottom of Catalpa. For starters, I'd just like to thank Total Boat for supporting the project. This is the product we'll be using. It's a two-part epoxy primer barrier coat. The reason we apply this straight over this fiber, raw fiberglass. It generally is applied over gel coat or fiberglass. Gel coat is porous, so is fiberglass. That's the idea of sealing the surface up. We've been through and patched all our little bits of osmosis. So this actually puts a barrier between your antifoul and the boat. So it's a very important part to keep the boat nice and dry and blister free. And like I said, it's two part, we'll be mixing this up. There is a thinner, which we probably will thin down the first coat just to make sure it gets into all the little cracks and so on and so forth. Uh, the boat is fairly fared, it's not perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna push our little temporary pipes back in. Um, all our through holes are obviously off. I wanted to get a nice complete seal around here with the barrier coat and then we'll put our new skin fittings over the top. Be perfect. So, push all these in. Hopefully no one uses the sink. That's our main one, I think. Oh, I can get that in. Oh. <laughs> Got a few little holes here. Um, they're the adjustment screws for the uh, cutlass bearing. So next time we go to replace the cutlass bearing, I don't want these sealed in. I should have, I forgot it. I usually just put a bit of Sikaflex in there, silicon, whatever you want to put in. In this case, I'm just going to put a bit of blue tack in and um, just so at a later date, I can get to these grub screws. We'll paint over those and they'll be nice and soft for next time. So a couple of things we'll be using here today is Got our rubber gloves because we'll be wearing suits. Uh, we'll have a small roller, we've got a few little brushes, we've got bigger rollers. We have our mixing stick, we have a drill for this. Got a few little mixing sticks, a little bit of tape. Um, there's not a great deal needed. We'll be using acetone over the whole boat. Uh, Total Boat does actually have their own uh, wax remover. Uh, we don't have any of that so next best thing will be acetone. Okay so preparation is the art to decoration and in this case a clean surface so that our epoxy barrier coat sticks well to the hull. Look at these kids go hey. It's the cleaning crew. Good idea when working with acetone is you have safety glasses on. If you don't want to get it in your eyes it will burn. Doesn't it does. Yeah. We wiped down the entire hull and taped up anything we didn't want barrier coat on. Swept away any water from under the boat and basically just prepared the area. Products separated, there's the solids underneath so they'll need a really good mix up. So I'm going to continue mixing this and make sure that's nice and creamy and well mixed in. Once we've mixed this, there's an induction period for about 15 minutes where these two compounds get to know each other. The two-part barrier coat once mixed needs to sit for 15 minutes, so while we waited we had our morning mud water. Mud water is a coffee alternative and full of delicious and healthy ingredients that helps give us the energy we need to get through our day in the boatyard. There's nothing like a mud water first up before you start the project at hand. We've opted for a nice fine nap on this. It's a 316 nap, which will definitely won't put a lot of paint on, but it'll put it on a lot smoother. Put a 
thick enough on and you're just going to put it on quicker but it'll end up more ripply so what's another coat we'll just keep coating until we use it all up try and get it as smooth as possible let's get painting okay so off we went applying the barrier coat because this is an epoxy barrier coat paint and not regular paint when we are painting, it's important the paint is on in sections as this stuff dries rather quickly and rolling over it too much makes it peel off. Two of us had big rollers to do the big sections and two of us had small rollers to do the edges. So far, so good. It was going on great. We could have added more thinners for a smoother application, but we're pretty happy with the consistency. The first tin got us to here, and while the tin was getting mixed up, mum made us some food. Salmon, avocado and cheese quesadillas. Then it was straight back into it. One side down and on to the next. One coat finished, but we didn't stop there. We decided to keep going because as soon as you let it dry, you have to wait and scuff it up to put another coat on. When you come to hand. But if you apply before it dries, you can keep applying with no wait time. So our plan was to keep painting until we ran out of paint. We won't use all the paint completely. We'll keep some aside to do the areas we can't get to under the blocks and stands. Last pin of the day. To coat number three. We didn't have enough to do another entire coat, so we went around the areas like the bottom of the keel, the rudder, and around some of the waterline. Catalpa is 53 foot long, for those who are wondering. And this was four one gallon tins.
fetish for the day. We got our barrier coat on and we used four tins. We got two, two and then like a third coat on some sections. So two coats and more. And we're pretty happy with it actually. It looks pretty great. Are you happy, honey? Yeah. Let's come off a treat. Let's come off a treat. Look at this. White boat. It's all white. Does anyone use white any fair? We have been going since eight. Well, we got up at like seven. We've been painting since eight. I don't know what the time is now, but the sun is going down. I'd say it's like five. Long day. The other day and actually we can see that something uh, there's been progression so it's a nice job to do the best part of the day peeling off the tape so the key oh no. is not to have it break like that just have to start again so the key is to pull back the tape over itself like that and it cuts a nice edge along it uh -huh. And try and do it. This is riveting stuff. Oh, I know Sarah loves peeling stuff off. That's pretty satisfying. Except that I don't want to touch, I got clean hands. Yeah, uh, you're doing good, darling. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, no, well, she's had a blowout. <laughs> she's had a blowout. Oh, I've got paint all over my face. put us really close to each other in this yard here. <laughs> so there's uh, not a lot of room. Gets a little bit congested down the side. It's a little tight. <laughs> you got the dark side over here and the light Yeah, side. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I didn't realize I was the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> Marvellous. So after a long day of painting, the first swim at the beach. See if we can scrub off some of this paint with some sand. Boat life hack for those of you who are in the boatyard and at the end of the day you've got paint or any fowl or something all over you. You know the best thing to do is come to the beach, get yourself some sand. There's still paint on your face. <laughs> all the paint off with the sand and <laughs> the ocean. It's all over our faces, but I think I got it all up. So nice to come down here at the end of the day and just wash the day away, and especially when you're in the boatyard, it's it's just been our place of escape and it's really nice to just finish the day in the ocean and watching the sun go down. It's beautiful.